Good afternoon, everybody. This is Ajinesh Warrior from uh, Amazon Web Services, and I'm here in Santa Clara at EclipseCon 2010, talking, and we are going to learn more about the E4 Rover Mars Challenge, which uh, is built and uh, managed by NASA JPL folks. So here I have Jeff Norris, who is the main creator, and Kwaja Shams, who is the uh, brainchild behind the entire project. So, uh, Jeff is going to... Hi, Jeff. How are you? Hi. Good. Jeff is going to work, uh, walk us through the entire uh, you know, presentation that he did at, at the EclipseCon. And we're going to see how the entire system has been built uh, and what is the challenge all about. Jeff? Sure. So, we have a uh, robotic uh, game arena here that we designed to help uh, people try out some new technologies at EclipseCon. And uh, it's a system that depends on um, something called E4, which is a new uh, system that Eclipse is bringing out, and also on some services that we put in Amazon Web Services. So, uh, as you'll see in just a moment, we have an arena with a robot running around inside it, and the arena is instrumented with some RFID tags around it. And the uh, RFID tags allow us to keep track of where the robot is in the arena and then award people points based on how quickly they can complete tasks. Now, uh, the arena is monitored by a uh, just simple laptop that runs uh, the server that talks to the RFID readers and the robot itself. But in order to manage the load of the system, that laptop sends its data up to a set of services in Amazon Web Services, uh, and that's what actually all of the uh, competitors are connecting to. So that server connects to uh, the elastic load balancing system in AWS, which then passes us off to our EC2 nodes where we have running an Eclipse Equinox server that actually processes the commands received from the competitors and also handles things like the uh, scoring and registration and things like that. The EC2 nodes talk to SimpleDB where we have uh, persistence of some of that data and also to S3 where we have the images received from the arena as well as telemetry coming back from the rover to the competitors. And then our clients talk to the elastic load balancing system. And we also have some special uh, open social gadgets like a scoreboard that are all monitoring this. Uh, so what this system has allowed us to do is to scale with the demands of the competitors. So as lots of people get interested in the uh, game, um, the, we can scale up the resources that are serving the game to the uh, competitors. So Quadra here can uh, show you the, the arena and uh, uh, looks like we have a player actually uh, playing right now and describe a little bit more about how it's working. Cool, thank you Jeff. So here Quadra is going to show us the actual arena, the, right. the, the engineering behind it and how things are actually getting, uh, are working. Sure, um, this is the E4 Rover Arena. As you can see, we have a Lego Mindstorm robot with, an, uh, with a tag on it that players can drive around using intuitive interfaces that they write in E4. We have people writing their clients in Eclipse with desktop applications. We have folks writing their applications in iPhone, and we have folks integrating their applications with various joysticks. Um, within the arena, there are four goals um, that are expressed through these uh, semicircles, that bright uh, semicircles that you see here. And the robot has two RFID tags. So every at, few, at each interval, a player is provided by, with a set of goals, uh, basically of a RFID tag and an RFID reader, and they have to match the RFID tag and present it to the particular reader. We have a scoreboard showing on the screen, and we, are, we have a camera that is taking the imagery of this entire arena for, uh, for the entirety of the competition. We upload these images onto S3, where we exploit the S3 versioning capability, mm -hmm. so players can actually go back and make videos of the events as they happen through using the S3 versioning capability. Um, we also use, if you notice, we have these little tags here. These are AR tags, uh, augmented reality tags, that we can use to predict, uh, actually to uh, deduce where the robot is and what it's facing at any given time. This camera is actually tracking the position and heading of the robot at all times and presenting it to users who are writing autonomous clients. We have um, lots of people writing autonomous clients and scoring hundreds of points with their autonomous clients uh, without any human intervention. So great, thank you very much, Kwaja. This is an excellent project. 
uh, that we have seen at Eclipse Con. And uh, thank you very much for building the entire system and looking forward to more from NASA JPL.